Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today we're going to be hopping into maybe the dirtiest deck inside of Clash Royale. Right now, make sure you guys have a water bottle on hand. You have a little bit of hand sanitizer to wash your hands afterwards. It's going to be the Mortar Miner combo deck that is giving a lot of pro players nightmares. This deck is so obnoxious to play against. You guys have probably played against the Hog Rider Mortar deck. You probably played against some other Mortar decks, but bringing the Rascals into the equation has made this deck absolutely obnoxious to deal with. And I'm gonna go ahead and try it out right now. Now, I've been saying for a long time mortars needed to be nerfed. You've seen it on the ladder, you've seen certain tournament standard mortar decks do really well, but this deck, more than any, is super obnoxious. And we're just gonna go ahead and have to try to stomp it out. All right, well, here we go right now. He's gonna go for Hog Rider Zap. That's definitely an aggressive play, so we're just gonna set up with our mortar. We've got our Rascal Boy plus our Rascal Girls right there. We're gonna get some nice value onto this executioner as we take that out. Looks like that should do a pretty solid job as our mortar finishes that off in a moment. And uh, let's see what he gets done. Once that gets taken out right there, I don't really know what he's going to be able to do. Ooh, it's actually going to lock on to that for a second. Nice! We actually ended up keeping our minion horde alive. All right, that's 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 GG, guys. There's no possible way he can win after that. He only has Tornado. The wizard's going to go ahead and take it out right there. That's going to be tower number one going down to zero. And guys, did I say this deck was easy? Because that was way too easy right there. We ended up outplaying that guy pretty hard with that push. I'm going to go ahead and log down this princess to make sure we don't take any additional damage. Obviously, I could have hold on, held on to that log a little bit longer uh, to see if he was going to play anything in front of that princess, but that was just a little small thing I could have done better. Let's drop our spear goblins down this lane, see if any hog riders come out anytime soon. Spear goblins will run on in, and I might as well just throw another mortar down and see what he gets done. Well, he'll probably play hog rider here, so let's use our rascals. Mortar's actually going to lock onto the tower. Wow. Uh, a fairly interesting game so far, guys. He's actually going to play his Executioner again. Great job lining up his Executioner to make sure it uh, does work. Oh, that's really obnoxious that his Executioner actually ended up living right there. So we're going to take so much damage from that that we did not need. Hmm. All right. Well, we're going to have to go ahead and get ready. I, I went aggressive for my Mortar on top of everything else. And it didn't work out in the end. So let's play our Minion Horde to kill this Wizard. Should do a fine job unless he has Tornado. It's not going to do enough. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Guys, I uh, don't know what to say about that one. Min princess, oh, Minions actually did end up killing the Princess. I whiffed my log, all right? I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm gonna admit it, I, I whiffed my log. He does have Zap to knock out these Spear Goblins in a second too. If he's ever gonna do it, unless it's not in rotation. I guess it's not in rotation right there, so we're gonna get a crazy amount of value there. Mortar's going in. The only thing is this Executioner, we don't have a great card to play against it, so I sort of just have to use my Rascals and hope that they're out of range. I'm going to get my minion board ready now. Hopefully that execution. Wow! We've just been getting really unlucky. I'm not going to lie inside of a couple of these things. That Executioner retargeting destroyed my heart. Okay, we did just knock out that Princess, so I feel pretty good about that. Here goes our Miner. Here goes our Spear Goblins. This should be GG, guys. I don't know what he's going to be able to do about this push. Man, the Executioner, though. If I have to pick one card that counters this deck really well, that Executioner has been giving me nightmares inside of this. I'm going to get ready with our Rascals now. I'm going to play our Mortar to stop this Hog right here. And, uh, oh, he has Zap. Okay, he's going to just play a Zap right there. So let's use our Miner. Let's use our Log. That should be the end of the game, guys, even though we did drag that uh, Hog Rider in a pretty good position. 110 HP. Man, this wizard's going to stay alive. So let's just, let's go for the super aggressive mood. Play the Mortar in the crack. This probably is going to shoot the King Tower anyways, but it was, hey, it was, it was a fun card to play. Mortar's going to lock on oh, the Mortar in the crack. is going to kill the Tower. That might be one of the first times ever that's happened inside of Clash Royale. Not many times does a Mortar in the center actually end up taking the Tower. All right, GG well played. We're going to take the cards and move on with our life. But that was, uh, that was an interesting battle. You guys could see how strong in that first push we were. Now, he did have Wizard and Executioner, which was so good against the majority of our deck, especially the Executioner. The Executioner really gives us a ton of problems. Let's go and get going against Dez right here. I'm going to log this down. Still have Zap in rotation in case he tries to do anything crazy. And getting ready for what we want next. I don't think he'd be playing uh, anything that had an Elixir Collector inside of his deck. So I'm going to use our Miner right here. I'm going to use our Zap as well. Should be fine. He's going to use his Mortar. All right, we'll use our Rascals. But is that a questionable Rascal? That is definitely a questionable placement right there. Why in the world did we play that right there? Uh, guys? Yeah, I don't think that's going to work out so well for us, guys. We've got our Log going in. The Mortar's going to go ahead and get hit by our Log. All right, well, we're going to take a bunch of damage right there that we didn't need to take. We do have a defensive order on the map, but I don't think that's going to matter too much. I actually think this guy's a pretty good player, uh, judging by how he's played so far. So I think we're in for an interesting matchup. Let's see if we can maybe make this happen right here. But this is looking to be an actual mirror matchup, I think. Thinking of all the cards he's played so far, I think this is actually a mirror matchup. Let's get our Spear Goblins going in right now to see what he does. 
Even gonna drop a miner in the very front to uh, start soaking up some stuff right here. Not gonna work. I'm gonna zap this down again. If he plays his mortar, we can use our rascals. All right, we're gonna use our rascals anyways, just to stop this miner. Should do a great job there. He does have a log, but he's not gonna actually end up using it. And why don't we just drop our mortar and see what happens? Yeah, I had a feeling he was gonna drop his mortar. He probably has enough elixir for rascals too, but my mortar's gonna lock on first to what he has. He's got minion ward as well, so we're obviously gonna have to deal with that. Looks like my spear goblin's gonna do a great job. Log's gonna go down, but that log's gonna get almost no value right there just because of the fact that we ended up doing work. So far, so good, guys. But man, this is uh, this is gonna be interesting. How do we wanna get this one done? I feel like minor damage is gonna be at a premium inside of this matchup. So let's see what we can do. He does have, I think our minion horde is just gonna get blasted, so I can't really do anything too crazy aggressive with the minion horde. I'm gonna throw our miner down, get ready with our zap. Once again, guys, we've been destroying him with those uh, plays right there. I think probably should be playing our log instead of something else. I'm gonna use our rascals again. Gonna actually end up catching right there. Gotta play our spear goblins to lock onto this mortar to make sure we don't take any damage. That should be fine. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Got, oh, no, 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 no! Guys. Mistakes were made. That one mistake inside of a mirror matchup is all you need to get absolutely demolished. Let's use our log again. It's gonna hit this. Oh, I thought it was gonna hit the goblin thing too. That would have been disgusting. We did actually end up hitting a rascal girl right there. Let's use our minor or our mortar defensively. Rascals as well, but does this just get blasted by <sighs> our rascal girls just get destroyed? So does his rascal girl though, so that actually feels okay. We're gonna be fine. I'm gonna go ahead and zap this down. That should be great. Goblin Gang's gonna go down two and actually end up catching that miner, which is awesome. Looks like that's gonna do a fantastic job. Meanwhile, down this lane, I'm gonna go for miner. I'm going for miner, I'm going for minion wards. We have to do what we have to do right now, guys. Log's going in, if he has Zap, this is gonna be catastrophic. Zap's gonna come back in rotation in a second. He's gonna go for the Goblin Gang instead. Oh man, this is getting to be some pretty interesting stuff. Let's use our Rascals again, plus our Spear Goblins. Log's gonna roll in, but I don't think it's gonna do enough. The Spear Goblins actually did an awesome job defensively. Oh, let's go for minor, but this is not my favorite position. No, that mortar's up too far too. Guys, we're making some mistakes right here. Log's gonna go ahead and lock on in a moment. Mortar's gonna lock on to the rest of this. It actually ended up hitting a rascal girl right there. I'm gonna log all of this down. I don't mind any of that chip damage going down the opposite lane. Guys, our mortar's gonna get close to locking on in a moment. We've gotta play our rascals though to lock onto this. This is actually looking okay for us. Let's go for our miner right now. Let's go for our mortar as well. Let's see if this is gonna be enough. Miner's locking on. Zap's getting ready for a minion horde. Oh, he's gonna play his goblin gang instead. Gonna zap and miss the log. That's a tad bit annoying. I'm gonna go ahead and have to get this taken care of as well. Spear Goblin's going in, guys, against this. We've got our Miner going down too. This is such a close matchup. This is such a most close matchup. He's not gonna predict it though. Zap's gonna go down too. Oh, the Miner's gonna take out that tower for GG. Well played. What a victory right there. Well played against our opponent. That was uh, that was mano y mano, guys. Let's see. I have a feeling that guy was pretty good. Okay, he's max wins of 16. Not bad, not bad. I'm at 18. Uh, so I guess I should win that matchup. I don't really know how you guys can judge on the uh, max wins, but we're gonna take that dub. Let's get into one more battle right now and just see if we can keep this up. That was that was hard. That was hard. And but the one thing is, he never actually predicted my minor throughout that entire battle, which was a huge advantage in the very end. Let's get ready for this one though. I'm gonna go ahead and start with our Goblin Gang, and just to start this one off right, don't want to play our Miner before knowing what he has. Goblin Gang's gonna go in. He's gonna throw down his log, guys. All right, I guess I'm just gonna log down the left-hand lane, get a Spear Goblin hit or two, and then move on with our life. Looks like that's gonna be fine. I've got our Miner ready right here. Don't really feel great about that Miner, but it should be played far enough back where he can't predict. All right, well, I felt like for a second I had an amazing placement right there, but that actually didn't end up working out so well at all, and uh, we got completely played. So we're playing against bait. It might be this bridge fan bait that has um, Bandit inside of it, but uh, obviously activating the King Tower like that, not our smartest decision in the very beginning. He did have Tornado, so more likely than not he would have activated it eventually, but uh, let's get ready right now and see what he has. He doesn't have Princess or anything else to guard against this mortar in, in this minion horde in rotation, so let's see what he does. Goblin Gang's gonna roll on in. I'm gonna play our minion horde now, and I'm gonna play our minor defensively to guard against the Star Prince. Check out that right there. That's gonna be able to knock that out very nicely. The only thing is we did spend a lot of elixir um, just to keep our mortar alive. His princess is gonna go down right here. We still have a nice amount of HP left on this mortar, guys. Spear Goblin's going in. We've got Log as well. That's a level one set of rascals right there. I was thought my mind was deceiving me when I saw that set of rascals. That's a level one set of rascals. We're gonna go ahead and take on the level one set of rascals. 
probably are zappable <laughs> because they're so low level guys what in the world was Cicero thinking right there and uh, this is gonna get a lot better for us now keep in mind if we do lose this left hand tower and we take his top right hand tower uh, it's not gonna be so much fun when he's got a uh, what is it when he oh man I'm losing my mind because I'm trying to play good defense guys Give me a break. Rascal's going to go in anyways. Uh, Mortar's going to go ahead and lock on and take a shot onto that tower. What I was saying is trying to get our Mortar onto the opposite lane is going to be pretty tough uh, when it comes down to it. Let's use our Miner again right now. We can probably zap down these Rascal girls. That's how low level they are, guys. Why in the world would you play level one Rascals right there? I don't know what you're doing, Cicero. Let's get our Spear Goblins going down again. At this point, a lot of defense on this uh, in the center is going to mean the world to us. Let's use our Log, even though it could spell disaster, but we're going to do some nice work right here. Gonna go ahead and drop our miner in the one position where we're not gonna take any damn or actually no, we're still gonna take King Tower damage right there. Zab's gonna go down and destroy the Rascal Girls again. And man, I I almost feel bad for this guy for playing level one rascals, but uh, you know, he made this decision and he has to sleep with it. Log going down, Rascal Girls gonna do their thing for a second. Mortar's getting ready to do some work. We've got the log coming in. Ooh, I think we'll still be okay right here, but gonna take a little bit of damage spear goblins going in minor going down over the top that should be gg guys and that's gonna be all she wrote Ooh, i meant to say gg not oops that was that was un unnecessary bm and unintentional bm so i'm sorry about that cesaro that's gonna be gg well played for three straight wins using this dirty deck and once again guys make sure you're washing your hand after every single battle make sure you're getting that crown chest done and there's a reason that this deck is so good you can throw in the hog rider in as well if you want to use that instead of the miner really chip damage or really cheap chip damage on top of an epic amount of defense should mean you pick up a couple of wins inside of clash royale let me know what you guys think about this deck in the comment section below that's gonna do it for this one until next time i will see you guys later Peace out.